Hi there, my name is Paul Halliday, and this is a video I meant to do for a while, and it's to do with Native Script Sidekick. Now, every hero needs a sidekick, including Batman, and we need a sidekick as Native Script developers, and this, of course, is Native Script Sidekick. You can do everything from creating applications with awesome templates. You can still use your text editor, you can build anywhere, you can debug and of course get access to a variety of native script plugins. As you can see here, the starter templates do go for everything from Angular, but we also have things like JavaScript, TypeScript and so on. Let's download Native Script Sidekick for Mac OS and that can be found at nativescript.org slash nativescript dash sidekick or alternatively, type that into Google and you should get the URL. So it's only 46 megabytes at this moment in time, so it shouldn't take too long. It's about 10 seconds for me. And then of course we can drag our application into our applications folder. We can then select native script sidekick and open it from the internet. Now, funnily enough, I'm on a brand new setup of Mac OS, so I don't even have Java or the Native Script CLI. I'm then going to open up Native Script Sidekick, and then we are greeted with this screen. We're told that we haven't created any applications yet, and that is correct. So let's hit Create. And already we are greeted with the ability to create an application and select different project types. We have everything from vanilla JavaScript, which includes templates for draw navigation, tab navigation, and of course, master detail. We can go through and look at TypeScript where we have the same, as well as Angular and TypeScript. When using the Angular and TypeScript templates, it's actually using Firebase as well. So that one should be quite interesting. Let's open this one up by selecting it and typing in a new app name. Let's simply type in my native script app. Then simply select a folder by using browse. I'm putting it on my desktop at this moment in time. And when you're ready, hit create app at the bottom right. When you've done that, it'll simply pull this down from NPM and install all of our dependencies. As a result, this may take a little while, but simply be patient and we'll be back again when this is finished. We are currently under application settings and we have things like general settings, such as the app version, the author and descriptions. We can look at iOS and Android specific settings as well as any application assets, such as icons and splash screens, and finally other plugins, which we can use. Let's select build or control B. And as you can see, we can do things like a cloud build or a local build. We can also select a target platform and whether we want to do a debug or release build. I'm going to select Android and also debug. Now I currently don't have my system ready to build or emulate on either one of these platforms, but Native Script Sidekick offers you a user interface and of course a lot of power. When it comes to using Native Script as your cross-platform development tool of choice. Let's open up our project now inside a Visual Studio Code and we'll get to see the template that has been created. As you can see, we have a simple master detail view. That has things like a list along with services. But if you notice, each one of the functions are thoroughly commented. So this helps you get started and of course reduces any complexity that you might have when you come to getting started with the templates. So this is how we use Native Script Sidekick to power up our Native Script development. Don't forget to subscribe for more Native Script videos and of course check out nativescripting.com if you'd like to learn Native Script and NGRX.
The course currently uses version 2, but it will be updated in the near future to use version 4. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon in the next video.